Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn downloading a file using JavaScript. Let's get started. I'm inside the index.html, just write the HTML5. Now I'm going to write down h1 and the title. Let's open this with live server. Here we go. So if you want to download a file, uh, the basic and simplest thing is you can do just write down the anchor tag. I have a file, file one dot pdf so i'm going to write that over here and writing the link or the name of the content like download file so if i will save this you can see it just gave me the option download file over here when i click on it it will just open the file into the same window if you want to open the file in the new window you can write down target and use underscore blank and it will open the file in a new tab over here how uh, it's work but we don't want to do this usually nowadays you will see the content uh, just give you a pop-up or just started the download in the chrome it's the behavior how are we gonna achieve this for that purposes you what you need to do you just need to provide a download attribute over here and uh, leave it blank so it will download with the default name of the file available on the server so if i'm going to save it it will just download the file and it, because we are open this file in the firefox it's giving me the option open with firefox open with microsoft edge or anyone you can select over here or save file so once you save file and click on it it will save the file in the directory or your download folder but if you want to give any other specific name you can just go ahead and define like file one i want to save it file dash one and it will save the file as you like okay i'm here with the chrome and you can see i have the same link available over here but when i will open this you will find that it will just download the file like this it will the behavior of chrome that it didn't ask you to save file open file it just download the file because of the download option i have let's take another example and in this one i'm going to say uh, let's suppose we are receiving the file links from a api or a database which we have limitations so we will have something like this ul inside the ul i have a li and uh, let's say i have the same download file option over here and when i would like to download the file if we have multiple files available or it's a common functionality so for that purposes we can even develop a javascript to download this option let's call this function download uri or url just call this download file and url comma file name so uh, first thing we need to do let link equals to document dot create element and in this one i'm going to type a link okay once you define the a link what you else you need to do is link dot set attribute and set attribute just set their download attribute and with the file name uh, if you are going to give any file name it will set the link then uh, what we can do we can link dot href and in href we can give the url that we were passed to this function then what we can do what next is document dot body dot append append child and in this one i'm going to just pass the link so it will append to the body okay then we are going to do document uh, link dot click just manually click this uh, by using the method click method then we are going to link dot remove and it we are going to remove this uh, link that we created here we go you can even just do the formatting change the pointer style or something if you are going to play with it or definitely you need this so when i'm going to click on this one uh, it will do nothing because i didn't mention that what it will be doing on click okay for this one i'm going to say download file just give the file name and file name is file1.pdf and you want to give any name like file1 something that you can definitely go ahead and give it to it when i click this you can see i am again receiving the option so this is a method that i have created to download the file if you are uh, receiving multiple files using an api or anything so you can even create this dynamic functionality to it 
I hope this uh, video helped you understand how to download files using JavaScript. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my channel.